This one's gonna be a quick video because the cheapy craze is going crazy. <laughs> Uncle Koopa's become a TikToker, bro. TikTok is the move when it comes to the Middle Eastern cheapy sense. Untouched, it's all over the place. It's absolutely crazy. That's where I feel all these recommendations in my DMs are coming from because every fragrance that I get recommended in the DM magically appears in TikTok. But truth be told, we all know Siri listens to everything, so whatever I'm saying right now will potentially just pop up on the phone. Bingo. I got action. But I can't front, that's what motivated me to get Anakid or Anakid, Anaked, whatever, which is apparently a clone of the infamous Parfums de Marley Leighton Exclusif. But is it though? Let's roll my music so we can check out if this 40 some odd dollar fragrance can compete with the monster that is Leighton Exclusif. <laughs> Bless you, one of my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Anaked. Another fragrance world joint for 40 some odd dollars that apparently smells like latent exclusive. Well, I've smelled this joint already, and I'm gonna give you my first impressions and first wear experience with this particular fragrance. Now, Fragrance World has been killing the game right now. It's Latafa. Fragrance World, Afnan, these are some of the clone brands that are absolutely taken over. With good reason. Super cheap, available on a ton of platforms, including Amazon, which is what most people pay for in their prime to get toilet paper and fragrance. Now here's what Anaked looks like. Simple looking presentation, very cheap looking. I don't know what this grid is supposed to be. Maybe there's some sort of symbolism behind it, but I'm ignorant. I don't watch the news. I don't know anything about anything. I live in a weird bubble that consists of me looking at myself in the mirror and touching myself inappropriately because I look that damn good. King Kong ain't got shit on me! Now, late and exclusive is loved by a ton of people except me. I like it, I don't love it, especially on my skin. What happens with late and exclusive is that that civet note, that butthole rat excrement, I think it's disgusting, just doesn't do it for me. For some reason on my skin, it just doesn't cooperate and it could be that I'm jaded by the original Layton. Layton the original is just my absolute favorite. Uber mass appealing, crowd pleasing, sexy, fruity, lavender, crisp apple, like a nice warm apple pie coming out of her vag. But the exclusive is a beast. Performance outstanding, incredible. Beast mode status, but just not a beast mode status that I want on my skin. My skin just doesn't cooperate with it. Sometimes it becomes a little bit sour and off-putting off my skin, which is weird, I know, but it could be all that uber masculinity that's spewing out of my pores that makes this fragrance smell subpar. That is blasphemous! Yeah, that's it. So in purchasing this joint to give you guys a budget-friendly option, I have worn it already and I'll give you my interpretation right now and let you know what I thought and see if my opinions have changed from when I initially initially smell this joint, which probably won't. Now, it is definitely in the latent space. It has all the DNA remnants of a latent, but it does not, right from jump, smell like latent exclusive. It smells like a weird combination or a hybrid or trying to be more closer to the latent original DNA with some really earthy green mossiness that adds an unusual element to that known latent DNA. Now there's nothing bad about this fragrance, it's actually quite nice. The performance wasn't outstanding off of my skin, but it lived around that six hour mark, which isn't bad. I don't mind reapplying, I don't need beast mode fragrances. That's something that some of y'all want and need whenever you spend a high price point, you want it to last six weeks. I understand, but me, Personally, I don't need it to do that because at the end of the day, it all depends on your environment, what you're around, what you do for a living, who you mingle with, who you network with, and the ambiance of that situation. You don't want an overly beast fragrance that's gonna take away from your initial goal, which is to give you that confident factor to approach people and maybe get that compliment or get that conversation going. Sometimes a crazy beast mode fragrance could be absolutely counterproductive and do the opposite of what you intended it to do. So now you wore this fragrance, you sprayed 40 times, it's a heavy Savet Udi type fragrance that you think is absolutely jaw-dropping and beautiful, and then the people around you don't wanna be around you because they can't hold a simple conversation. Because when they're having their cocktail, that fragrance is going through their nose and they're literally drinking your smell. It's just disgusting. Big talk. It's happened to me several times and it's not something as a fragrance fan, as a fragrance lover, as a fragrance content creator that I want. I don't wanna be sipping my whiskey and smelling your fragrance and then drinking that shit. It just throws off my whole experience. So your selfish ass is thinking about you spraying this 48 times and hoping you get compliments 
comments and me, I'm looking at you cursing you in my brain because you fucking up my bourbon. Nobody ever talks about that shit. Now with the Aniquid or whatever the hell it's called, you get that warmness, you get a nice little lavender hit, you get that apple essence, you get a lot of ginger, you definitely get some woods here, more like agar wood instead of oud, but like super synthetic. And you still get that nice, rich, cardamomy, vanillic, warm sensation, that cuddle, that sexy factor for a fraction of the price. Everybody's budget conscious and I respect it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna bring all types of variety from ridiculously expensive that is sexy to super cheap and like, oh, I'm gonna buy 10 of them because I can afford it. This fragrance is solid, it's actually very nice. But unless the descriptions were incorrect, it's definitely not latent exclusive. It's in the latent family, kind of, but it kind of has its own essence as well. Like that mossiness, that greenery that's getting off this fragrance, I don't find it in latent exclusive or latent, but it's definitely here. It's earthy, mossy, green, like fresh, wet, dewy grass. And this joint also has a little bit of a blue saltiness to it, which I don't mind. I think it's a solid fragrance. If I were to rate it, I'd rate it a good seven. I think it's a good fragrance. The performance isn't beast mode, but it isn't lackluster either. It's significantly cheaper than what it's supposed to be. But if you're looking for somewhat of a latent-esque, mossy, greener scent profile, then this might be an option for you guys in the fragrance world space. As fragrance world fans, you guys are used to seeing that these different levels of performance in these fragrances. So why not give it a shot if this is something that you're looking for on a budget? For me, it's a bowl sprayer. I like it. It doesn't turn me off. There's nothing off-putting about it. I don't need beast mode performance. So that doesn't affect my rating in this particular instance. So ball spray it is, it's pretty freaking good. <sighs> And it's particularly good because it doesn't smell like exclusive, which is not what I wanted. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. What do you think of this particular fragrance? Have you smelled it? And any other fragrance world that are absolute bangers, like 100% must cops, leave it in the comments below. I'll see y'all stitches next time. How about I break your back and then push your paralyzed body into a river and then watch the life leave your eyes as you drown to death, bitch. And now a word from our sponsor. As a fan of men accessories, Exter was cool enough to send over some items for review. Starting off with their key case, a beautiful, genuine leather key case that you can slide into a belt holder. Super easy to use with this removable screw attachment so you can put your keys in between the leather strap. Now you can use the new Exter multi-tool, which is a couple of multi-rulers, bottle opener, super necessary, and a SIM card remover among other tools. Now this little corner over here serves as like a flathead you can place inside of the flathead screw hole and use to loosen the tension on the screw. A couple of turns, and I'm gonna be honest with you, as aggressive as I am, I did scratch a bit of the matte finish, so I would recommend using something like a quarter. A couple of twists of the hands, boop, pops right out, and it has a couple of grommets in the way to help secure four to six keys, depending on the width of the keys. But clearly, Exter knew that I lose keys, so they have a small key tracker that fits in the key case. Just put the two batteries, very small and compact. All you have to do is download the app, super easy to set up, and you'll never lose your keys again. Just put it in the key tag, screw it back into place, and you're ready to go. But of course, I also have their carbon fiber card holder with a rubber grommet where you can put some cash right in the front, as well as on the back side where you can hold four to six cards, push up with your thumb and slide those cards up. Now on the actual inside with that easy thumb release, bam, pop up some cards and there's about six cards in here and you can fit anywhere from four to eight cards depending on the thickness. With the metal cards, it might be a little bit less because they're slightly thicker, but nevertheless, they don't slip out. Very easy to pop up and I recommend putting the card that's most used in the back because it's more easily accessible. These are the extra lineups that are all available in the link in the description. Sleek, sexy, minimalistic look. Thank you, Exter. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>